Hello everybody, in this lecture we will be solving 1992 IMO problem number 2. Here is a view of this problem. Let R denote the set of all real numbers and we would like to find all functions from the set of real numbers to the set of real numbers such that the following functional equation is satisfied. So let F be such a function uh, that satisfies this condition for all x, y in R let uh, f of 0 let's denote f of 0 by c and f of 1 by d and we can simply start by substituting x equals 0 uh, into the functional equation this would lead that um, as a result we would get f of f of y is equal to y plus f of 0 squared but f of 0 is just c so c squared and at that point I can further substitute uh, y equals 0 first. If I substitute y equals 0, I will get f of f of 0, but f of 0 was simply c. So f of c is equal to, so 0 plus c squared, so that's c squared. Or I can alternatively also substitute y equals 1, in which case we would get f of f of 1, which is just f of d, uh, is equal to 1 plus um, c squared. Now let's consider uh, the situation where I apply f to both sides of the uh, given functional equation. Uh, so apply f. Uh, so when I do so, I'll get f of f of x squared plus f of y is equal to f of y plus uh, f of x squared. Uh, and this still holds for all x, y. And at least for the left hand side, we recognize that f of f of something, and making use of this result, would simply equal to uh, x squared plus f of y plus c squared for the left hand side. And the right hand side uh, should uh, remain the same for now at least squared for all x, y. And now um, we can just uh, uh, apply x equals 1 and y equals c into this uh, expression simultaneously. So we would get uh, 1 squared plus f of 1. f of 1 uh, we agreed was equal to d plus c squared is simply equal to um, right um, uh, no no this is not d uh, as you can see it is equal to c square my apologies so this is a c square and we have another c square here and then for the right hand side we would get f of uh, substituting y equals c we get c plus f of uh, 1 squared but f of 1 was d so c plus d squared now also consider the situation where uh, we uh, substitute x equals d and y equals 0 into the very uh, original functional equation so we would get uh, f of d squared plus 0 f of 0 was just c is equal to and for the right hand side uh, 0 plus f of d squared but f of d we agreed was equal to 1 plus c squared so it would simply be 1 plus c squared squared now we can combine these two results notice that the right hand side of the first equation and the left hand side of the second equation are the same so therefore 1 plus 2 c squared is simply equal to 1 plus c squared squared Expanding the right hand side, we would get 1 plus 2 c squared plus c to the fourth power, and the left hand side remains the same. The ones would cancel, 2 c squares will cancel, finally, implying that uh, c to the fourth power equals 0, or simply c is equal to 0. So we have just found that f of 0 is in fact equal to 0, and as a result, uh, the um, the equations um, 
and in particular this one here reduces to knowing that c is zero uh, reduces to uh, f of f of y is simply equal to y for all y in r um, now we, uh, I, I would like to make a following claim that uh, the function f uh, uh, f is strictly uh, increasing um, consider the following proof uh, let uh, s be strictly less than uh, t and let also uh, u be given as the square root of uh, f of uh, sorry for that so u being f of the square root of t minus s and um, uh, applying this uh, we realize that um, if I take uh, the, the, the function f on both sides here we would get that f of f of, uh, or let's take in two steps f of u is simply equal to f of f of square root t minus s but f of f of something is just equal to the inside so square root t minus s which is strictly greater than zero um, and as a result and so this would imply that u cannot be zero now consider this uh, the, this result that we got earlier in this for this particular result if we plug in x equals uh, u and y equals s that would yield uh, that um, um, so, so um, let's write that down u square plus uh, f of s plus c square recall c was uh, simply equal to zero is equal to f of uh, uh, s plus um, uh, let's write that down here the square here f of x is will be replaced with u and now this is simply implies that u square plus f of s is equal to f of um, s plus f of u we established earlier that it is square root t minus s and then we need to square it so it will just give us t minus s the s's will cancel so we have f of t on the right hand side so therefore uh, u, be, u square being greater than uh, strictly greater than zero knowing that u is not equal to zero uh, would simply implies that f of s is strictly less than f of t and this was exactly what we needed to show uh, this implies that our function f is indeed uh, strictly uh, increasing now uh, i make a further claim the second claim in a row uh, now I claim that the function f uh, that satisfies um, this property uh, here is simply um, the function f of x um, equals x for all x in R. So let's uh, let's see uh, if we can find this out. So the function f which satisfies the original um, functional form also satisfies this result as a consequence. And any function f which satisfies this result, I claim is this. If um, f of f of x is equal to x for all x. Okay, so why should uh, f of x be equal to x? Uh, we can uh, we can approach by contradiction. So proof. Uh, let's assume to the contrary. Assume that um, let's say uh, f of v is strictly greater than v for a certain uh, for v in r and um, knowing that uh, um, so using this result now um, and, and also the previous result that we just got no, the fact that f is strictly increasing uh, we would get that um, um, v is equal to again using this f of f of v and this is strictly greater than f of v because comparing the insides we are assuming that f of v is strictly greater than v as a result when i apply the functions f 
f being strictly increasing and uh, this relationship will hold uh, and however this is certainly a contradiction compare this which says f of b is strictly greater than v versus this new result which claims b is strictly greater than f b so this is a contradiction in a similar way one can assume um, that uh, f of v is strictly less than v uh, for all a v uh, for a certain v in r again coming up with a contradiction which will um, which will result due to this property okay so therefore this implies that so uh, this uh, without doubt implies that f of x is equal to x is the only solution to the functional equation given in the problem and uh, and by the way if you just plug it in it's very easy to confirm that it, it indeed satisfies the functional equation given at the beginning of the problem and it is the unique solution that uh, solves this functional equation and uh, we are done. Hope to see you in our next video.